Hello and welcome to This Week in Robot Combat. Thank you once again for joining me. We've got plenty to go through this week, so without further ado, let's crack on with today's first story. So we're starting with some bad news, unfortunately, of the robots that have unfortunately been rejected from BattleBots. And it's interesting that these robots are confirmed to have been rejected. The first is Broadside, a shooter from the UK. Looks very cool indeed, but alas, we won't get to see it this year. Unfortunately, Vanguard has been rejected from this year's BattleBots as well. Deeply upset about that one because it is a very nice design indeed. But it's still going to be made and brought to the Belfast event later this year. So we will get to see it. Another team rejected for this season of BattleBots, unfortunately, was Bolter Guys. They've done a full write-up over on their Facebook page, so be sure to go and give a read of that. Interestingly, Deator was rejected. We didn't even know that it had applied, but they have been rejected for this year, unfortunately. But there are another one who will be going to Robo Riots with the new Deator, which is very exciting still, so hopefully on the horizon. Unfortunately, Team Nelly have been rejected from this season of BattleBots. They revealed on Facebook. And Ben from Team Panic revealed over on YouTube that his team had been rejected with their robots. MacGuffin, of which there is a full video showing it off on Ben's channel. Unfortunately as well, we won't get to see this robot called Hoodlum, brought to us by the minds of Harry Hills, who built Hobgoblin for Robot Wars, as well as Simon Harrison, Jamie McCarg, and Mark Mellers. Unfortunately, we won't get to see this design in action this year. It is a shame, but fingers crossed for the future. And also Soothslayer have unfortunately been rejected from this season of BattleBots, but they're looking at the positives and looking ahead to a potential Season 7 in the future. Victor Soto and Team Rotator have shown off the new CAD for 2021's iteration. Not much seems to have changed, but there are some differences if you can spot them. There is a full write-up over on their Facebook page, so be sure to go and check that out for more details. Another robot revealed to us this week is this wonderful thing called Cannibal. This is from the team Elk Robotics, who last year applied with robot Valhalla Express, but had to pull out of the 2020 season. They're bringing Cannibal this year, and it is a fantastic design. We have seen them build smaller versions of this, and if it is anywhere near as good as that one, I'm very excited for this robot. It does weird physics things. It sort of levitates a bit. I'm very excited by this robot. There is, once again, a full write-up over on the Elk Robotics Facebook page, so be sure to go and check that out for more details. Team Jackpot have done another drive test, and it would seem that they have painted up Jackpot ready for the 2021 season. The Shremek is yellow, the chassis is green, which you can see driving around on a road right now. They also continue to test out their self-writer, which is working very nicely. Last week we reported on a new beetle weight called Paradigm Spin that would be competing at the Medway event. This is it looking a bit more done. It is a shell spinner in beetle weight scale which you don't see many of these days. It looks very cool indeed, very scary and I'm very excited to see it in action. Later this year, remember the Medway event is happening July 3rd and 4th. Be sure to check it out. We will be live streaming it over here on the World of Woodrow YouTube channel. Robot Ruckus is back in full swing for 2021, once again at the Orlando Maker Fair later this year. They have divisions of Antweight, Beetleweight, the £15 class, £30 Sportsman and of course the Heavyweight Sportsman class which we've not seen in a couple of years. Make sure to check them out 13th and 14th of November 2021. And talking of live events, if you want to catch up on last week's Bebs event in the UK or Norwalk Havoc, all of it is up on YouTube right now. David of Smeg YouTube channel, because the second international special of Lego Wars is coming sooner than you think. Lots of very good fights, lots of new robots to check out. Be sure not to miss out on Lego Wars International 2 coming very, very soon. It's very exciting indeed. And that's just about all for this time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new. Be sure to check out World of Woodrow over on Facebook to keep up to date with all of the latest news. And we shall see you next week for more of it. Farewell.